Well, yeehaw! Here we are. It's time for another video. Continuing in the predictions, I wanted to record this previous week, but I uh, got held up. And also, I'm planning a mystery video. Actually, you don't know what it is, but uh, me and someone else, we are going to be making a special video this week, and it'll be up a little bit later, but definitely before Saturday. So hang on to your butts, because that's coming up. But here we are. It's time for predictions number two. For the second anniversary of Wotov on the JP side, time to do some predictions. And uh, today we're going to be talking about returning collaborations. So, so far, what collaborations have we had? Well, we've had Nier, of course, Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy VII, and uh, what other one? Oh yeah, 14, right? And now I feel really bad because I feel like I might have missed something. There hasn't been a ton of collaborations yet. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy 1, right, that is a thing. Anyway, so let's talk about returning collaborations. Which collaborations are the most likely to return for the second anniversary, if any? Whether or not I think that it is totally possible, plausible, given stuff that is going around. And in video number three, we'll be talking about new collaborations. So first of all, let's get the easy ones out of the way. Final Fantasy 1. It's not happening. There's 0% chance that we are getting a Final Fantasy 1 collaboration. You know what? I rescind that a little bit. We're not getting a Final Fantasy 1, but there is a 1% chance that it could happen if it is a returning collaboration. Main be reason being that FF1 on the JP side did not sell well originally and did not sell well when it came back, so it's just not happening. Maybe on Global it's more popular, but they're planning for a JP anniversary, and I just don't think see the... Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, so moving on. Next one that we can easily get rid of is Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy IV just had a re-collaboration where Glo her Golbez came to the game, it's not happening again. And I know that there's going to be some snarky person out there who will say, but it could, you know, this one I'm giving a 0% chance. Mainly because the most of the community would riot. So let's just get this out of the way. Sorry, Kane, Cecil, and Rosa. You're not coming back. Maybe if it was a multiple collaboration, like it was FF4, FF7, and FF uh, Tactics, but that's really unlikely. So I'm not going to consider that, that, even though it could possibly happen. FF4, I'm giving a 0 0.00001. So many zeros that it is basically just that. Oh yeah, and Final Fantasy XV. Damn. <clears throat> Someone's going to comment about that in the... You forgot FF15 at this point in the video. Great. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Next up, you know what? Let's talk about it. Final Fantasy 15. Is FF15 going to come back with the second part of the collaboration? Maybe about a. Well, let's give it a 9% chance. Again, 15 wasn't that long ago, so it's very unlikely to make a return. And while 15, I think, did make money, I think it's just too recent, so it's probably not going to happen. Next one that we're going to just get right out of the way. Final Fantasy Tactics. We know that they're working on it. We know they know it's important. Trust me, they hear your guys, you guys all the time constantly about FF Tactics, and they know it will make money. But I don't see it returning before potentially the new year, so this one I'm going to say is roughly about a 1% chance. It's just a super unlikely uh, that this ever, that this comes back yet. Yeah, we know it's on the horizon, but it's not quite ready. It sounds like it's still cooking based on recent live streams, so it's just not happening. I'm just saying it right now. Not happening, but in the near future, you can bet your ass it's going to happen again. All right, so we've covered 15. We covered that. You know what's another Final Fantasy I forgot about? But not for anymore. Final Fantasy X. Now this one, I actually think, has a pretty good chance of coming back. Let's say about 30% mm, chance. And if you're calculating my percentages, these are just general percentages. I'm not trying to add up to a 100%. I didn't think that through. But roughly, it's been about a year. 
There are lots of Final Fantasy X characters, it's an incredibly popular Final Fantasy, and we could see it again. I honestly think that there is a decent chance. But, problem being is that Titus Unit and Orin are already in the game. They really don't have an excuse unless the second anniversary brings out some kind of improvement for characters, in which case, okay, maybe then it's worth rerunning these characters. But if you think about the characters that would come next, I don't know, Seymour? Is it too early for Jet? Is it, um, do we just get Kamari and Lulu? Is that good enough? I don't know. I really don't. And you know what? I still think the 10 characters are pretty good. So I don't feel like there's a super need to repeat this collaboration when you consider that Tactics characters are really hurting for an EX bonus. It feels a little too early to see this come back, but not by much. All right, so we've covered, I think Final Fantasy X is about a 30% chance, you know, maybe a 10% chance, somewhere in there. But I think it's, it's more possible than the other ones, but it's still pretty unlikely. So which Final Fantasies have we not covered yet? I'm pretty sure I've gone through most of the returning collaborations. Also, near not happening. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not. It's just, it's just not happening. Okay, moving on. A2 in February. There you go. There's my prediction for that. But second anniversary, it's not a near anniversary. It's not nearly soon enough. All right, bad puns aside, let's move on to one that I think has, or the two collaborations that I have, think have the highest chance of coming back. First of all, Final Fantasy VII. Why? There is a new Final Fantasy VII mobile game that is set to come out this November. It's Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, which is an action style game, probably taking, you know, trying to take a little bit of that Fortnite market or whatever their plans are, but it looks like a pretty big release for Square. They're advertising it, they talked about it at TGS, it's been fairly well marketed at this point. I, I could see FF7 coming back this early. Why? FF7 is a huge moneymaker, one of the hugest moneymakers. Not only that, but you have three very obvious characters that could come back with, um, you know, the PS5 re-release, essentially. You have Sephiroth, Yuffie, and Red 13, all which would make a fairly big splash at this point. Yuffie for being a ninja, Red for 13 for not being a human, and Sephiroth for being, well, obviously fucking Sephiroth. But if we're talking about a really good chance, you know, they like to tie these collaborations in with a major event and a major release. And I think this is major enough that this could happen. I still think it's an outside chance, more than the other obvious one that we need to talk about for the month of November. But this is very clearly possible because Sephiroth would make more than enough money. And at the time of anniversary, you bet your ass people would spend. So, and giving another chance for Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, and Barrett, I'm all, all of it would just be really good. So I'm definitely saying that there is a good chance this could happen. I'm gonna say put it more in the above 50% range. You know, I think this is actually pretty likely. And I'm realizing this late in the video, I probably should have not done specific percentages. All right. But the last collaboration returning that we need to talk about. Uh, this one. Now, the sigh is not because I hate FF14. I love FF14. It's great. I just went to a cafe themed about FF14 and it was awesome. But that being said, this is a collaboration that I just don't feel works for whatever reason. I don't know whatever goes on behind the scenes with this, whether the 14 team really hates Gotcha and they just, you know, actually want the quality and they don't really like Gumi, but between Brave Exvius and Wotive, banners for this app, for this kind of collaboration have always been strange. Take Thancred, for example. You couldn't exactly gotcha Thancred, but the way you got his shards wasn't exactly on the level either, at least for the JP side. 
So that being said, Thancred at this point is pretty much dead. I'm sorry, you guys, but it would take a hell of an EX. Not impossible, but this is going to have to be the granddaddy of motherfucking EXs to get us to the point where this unit is really good. Same with Ishtola. As for new versions of the characters, 14 has a massive pile of characters. We could see Lise, we could see Alphanon and Alsail, we could see the Warrior of Light. There are so many characters and 14 is a massive property at this point. It is one of the most popular Final Fantasies of all time and for good reason. Great story, great music, everything. I would absolutely love to see it. And guess what? 14 has a big, big expansion coming out. One of the last big expansion, or the last big expansion for the current story. So yeah, 14 has a really high chance. We've also heard that 14 is basically the next to come back. Question is, is the anniversary going to be a new collaboration or an old collaboration? 14 does have, I would say, one of the highest chances of returning yet. And if not yet at the anniversary, it's going to be returning very soon. Hopefully with new characters, new vision cards, and a lot of good new content to make these characters, you know, Ishtola and Thancred, really good again. Um, but also some brand new characters, because 14 has a just a massive pile of characters. And it feels like such a shame that we never get to see most of them. So 14 returning, if it wasn't for the weird stuff behind the scenes and the fact that I think that if we're just wanting, if Gumi really wants to make money and have those style banners, 14's banners don't make a ton of sense unless they do them in a very strange, weird way, which could upset people. So while I think 14 is so very close to happening again, I do want to just state that I think because of the weird shape of the banners and whatever is going on behind the scenes between Gumi and Square Enix on this project and these collaborations, this one might happen in December. With that being said, let's transition back to just closing this video out by saying that overall, I expect a new collaboration. I don't expect a returning collaboration with short, with, you know, barring, for, I, sh I should sum up by saying that I think FF14 is the most likely returning collaboration because of hinting and everything, but FF7 is a close second. As for whether or not I think it is a new collaboration or a old collaboration, that's where I draw the line pretty harshly saying that I think it's going to be a new collaboration. There really is so many Final Fantasies, so many characters, so much music, so many weapons, so many other vision cards and summons and content that you can put in. And at the time of an anniversary, You'll want to be adding stuff to the game. You'll want to get new people in. It's a big jump in point. So you got your FF6, your 8, your 9, your 13. All of these Final Fantasies which have, you know, really big followings and also popular in their own right and have great beloved characters. Now's the time to really capitalize on that hype. And uh, hopefully lots of free lapis. Anyway, so that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this comments below and uh, video number three will be wrapping up predictions with brand new collaborations. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one.